So this is a, uh, th this trip I guess is a good opportunity for you guys to get away and now that everything seems to be settled in and start to maybe spread your wings a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still, uh, it's still a process and adjusting, but, um, you know, to get that many games in in the first week is good. You know, I feel like they were, you know, a couple of them were pretty intense, pretty good ones to, to go through in the first week. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the big road trips. Did you begin to feel, though, that uh, you begin, to, even though it's only the end of November, you begin to see everything coming together and, and with good health could be great things for this team? Um, yeah, I mean, it's still early. We still have uh, a lot of things to improve on. And, um, you know, we've done some, some really good things, and at the same time, uh, I mean, you there's still a lot that uh, we need to work on. And, you know, the game is so uh, so detailed, and there's things that, you know, you just can't expect to be there sometimes. It's really annoying. So, uh, our, our focus and, you know, our, our effort are in the right areas, though, and that's always a good sign. So, have you had a chance to watch the Rangers much and what Richards has brought to that team? Uh, I haven't, but, I mean... You know, he's probably going to bring the same thing to every team he's played on, and that's a uh, you know, pretty intelligent hockey player, really good in the power play, a great shot. Uh, you know, he's a pretty complete player, and he's going to help any team he plays for. So, um, you know, with uh, the team that they have and, um, you know, the, the games that we've had against them previously, it should be a uh, really good hockey. So the challenge of this week, you've not only got opponents that you've got, you know, have good records and that, but you're also going to face two of these teams after they've been involved with new coaches now, and that's sort of a different environment. What was the challenge for an opponent going into this situation? Um, well, I think you always expect the team to be fired up, and um, you know, it's kind of a fresh start or a new start, and guys want to make sure they bring respect to their new coach, so I uh, usually expect uh, a pretty excited team, and pretty hungry team, so um, it doesn't really change what we have to do. We're going to play teams that we expect to come out right away, so uh, yeah, I think if anything, it's just uh, make us focus on you know, more what we have to do. It's been a while now since you guys went through that, but do, do, do players generally take a sense of sort of that that's as much on us as the case when that happens? Yeah, I mean, I guess every situation is different, but um, you know, I think that's the way we felt. Uh, at the end of the day, we're the ones out there playing, and um, we need to win. So, um, you know, whether it, it takes that to happen to realize that sometimes it's the case, and sometimes um, you know, guys respond to that. So, um, usually at that point, uh, you know, the change uh, change happens, and everyone tries to respond. Just wondering if you had heard or read the comments from Brian Murray yesterday regarding yourself and the dam. I heard about it. I mean, uh, I think it's getting blown way out of proportion. It's ridiculous. It's a play that happens in every game. I think, I guess the fact that it's me, it's, it's dissected and analyzed a hundred times more, but um, I really think they're making something out of nothing. I mean, if they want to keep kind of beating it around, they can, but I don't have anything else to say about it. I think it's, I think it's ridiculous. We're still talking about it three days later, to be honest with you. It's not the first time he's chirped that I think there's something yeah. where... He's been doing that since my first year, so I mean that's that's nothing new. Yeah.